I have uh, several segments on this particular stove, the Edelrid Hexon stove. This particular uh, video clip is showing the stove running on the white gas Coleman fuel type um, fuel and showing side by side the slight differences in the flame properties when the uh, larger jet, which is the one supplied with this stove, is used. Uh, and the one on the right is the smaller jet that I borrowed from a different uh, stove, uh, the Brenton Bantam stove, actually. Now, the first part of this clip shows the uh, chimney technique, and I have other videos on this, so I'm not going to go th over this in detail. But it's in the process now of uh, doing a secondary preheating after the burner has already started. and. Uh, the one on the right shows that I've already removed the lid or the top part of the chimney. Uh, the one on the left will be done uh, shortly. And then the uh, collars uh, will be removed, as you can see there. Uh, that will then just leave the uh, stove burning. And uh, so you can compare the flames of the two. I had been doing some experimental uh, work on the... Uh, the stove stand supports uh, that you see that uh, instrument pointing to on the left. Uh, I put some small titanium uh, foil um, wrappings around the upper portion, uh, upper part of the legs because they were distorting due to the heat. You can see that they're getting red hot. And uh, I have another video uh, on the stove that shows some of the modifications that I did on this. Uh, particular part of the stove. Uh, I gave up on the notion of the um, uh, these titanium uh, supports or protectors. This is just simply showing what the uh, simmering is like for the respective jets. Again, the 0 0.37 millimeter jet on the left, the 0 0.28 millimeter jet on the right. And I'm getting these down as slow as they will go. Uh, because this is a daylight type um, photography, it's kind of hard to appreciate the differences. There's a slight uh, difference in the uh, degree of uh, flame control. The 0 0.28, as you might expect, uh, allows a slightly lower degree of heat output on the on lowest setting. But both of these are, I think, fairly uh, okay for simmering uh, for this type of stove, which is the um, uh, this flame spreader roar type. As you can see, the one on the left, it reaches a point where there's some uh, yellow flame that is uh, being produced that does not occur with the 0 0.28 millimeter jet. So I'm going to be using the 0 0.28 millimeter jet for my own uh, applications for a number of reasons, not the least being that it is the only jet that I would recommend for kerosene, even though that jet is, again, not included with the stove when it uh, comes from the factory.